okay my peeps guys welcome back to my channel and you are watching Jamaican in Houston wildlife plus TV right okay so you have George here and what I'm gonna be doing for you today is something that a lot of you guys used to right I remember when my mom my dad used to make this for me and I decided I'm gonna do this today and I hope that it will turn out to be a good um, run a good trial <laughs> you know so what I'm gonna be doing for you today is cassava porn right so this is the other side of me again where you need to know about right because remember it is wildlife plus so this is part of the plus okay we're not going wildlife today no fishing today we're gonna be in the kitchen today all right so come with me all right now I'm gonna share with you my ingredients right starting you got salt butter that's pure vanilla extract I try to use the right thing you know not just a regular vanilla but this one is an extract which is a little bit more concentrated than the normal vanilla you know and I have raisin and I got my cinnamon powder I got my nutmeg powder and um, over here I have my cassava as you can see that's my cassava right there and sometimes what you do to give it a little bit of texture and stuff like that when you're making your pudding um, you can use a piece of yam or you can use cocoa so today I'm gonna be using cocoa right and over here you have my brown sugar right and here I'm using two coconuts why two coconuts one I'm gonna grate that one and use it for texture right because I'm making porn. Porn is more firmer than um, the pudding. The pudding is a more softer nature, has a more softer nature finish, you know? So the porn is firm, you know? And full of texture and stuff like that. So I want, uh, when I grated this coconut, I'm gonna use it, trash and all, everything, right? This one, I'm going to juice this one out, milk, get milk, the coconut milk from this to use it to mix the dry ingredients over here i got cornmeal because you know we put a little bit of cornmeal and i tell you what you see us jamaicans we are very creative right we are very creative so you know everybody do their stuff their own way you know and it always turned out to be something real nice you know i can make my cassava pone and you make yours and you, you, you do it a, a little bit different, you know, there's a little twist to it, but at the same time, it turned out to be something real nice. So just follow me. I'm heading over from my dining table into the kitchen. This is where the action is gonna take place, all right? I'm back with you. And what I'm gonna be doing first, you know, I'm gonna be breaking my coconut and I'm gonna be I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to be using the blender because I could grate it the old fashioned way, the way my mom taught me, but I'm going to be doing it so that, you know, for time, you know, time's sake, you know, you know, I'm going to be saving myself some time here to get every, all the ingredients together and um, so I can get this thing going. All right. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to break my coconut. When I was a kid, I used to, when my mom used to make um, cassava pone, when she break the coconut, we would never ever dare pour that water down the drain, you know? But for time's sake right now, I can't bother to get a cup and pour it in and drink it later on. But it is good. That coconut water is good, you know? But when we were a kid, we used to fight for it. Everybody used to want to get the water to drink, you know? And some people use that same water to juice the same coconut to get the milk from the coconut, you know? But I'm gonna be using some bottled water to do that. When the coconut 
is greater and I never I never never like to throw away the, 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 the bump we call it the bump that is the last little piece of the coconut that you leave in your hand that you can greater we always like to drop it into the pudding because sometimes when you eat in the pudding and you come across a piece of that against it it feels so nice you know when you crunchy and nice when you find a piece of coconut in the pudding that is so nice I don't know about you guys but I know about myself as a kid growing up we also love to find a little piece of coconut in the pudding you know because that really nice inside so what I'm going to do intentionally I'm going to cut up a few little pieces of the coconut I'll just drop the some pieces in there you know it's real nice it create a nice texture okay peeps I'm back with you and now I will finish separating the coconut from the shell so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut you know cut my coconut up in little pieces all right and then wash cut and then blend all right and then you see how much coconut I have here I like a lot of coconut in my cassava form Alright, so my next move is I am going to cut, I'm going to cut these up in small pieces. Okay peeps, I'm back again and another stage of my cassava pone. Now I reach a point where I'm going to blend the coconut. Alright, so I don't really use the water from the pipe because you know as a city water I don't really too trust it so I work with my bottle water and I mostly work with spring water all right so add some water to my blender and um, I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut in there first because I don't want to overload the blender and then next thing you see smoke right so put just enough that will let the blender blade spin freely and do its work all right now for it all right, i'm back again peeps all right so this stage of it is i'm going to use as i told you I'm going to use half of the coconut that I blended to make get my milk from it that I'm gonna use to mix the dry ingredients so here I go I'll be straining that's not enough to do the mixture so I'm gonna strain some more milk off this and let me tell you something if you are in the States right um these are sweet cassavas right these are the one that you just peel them and cook them right but you have another one that they call the bitter cassava that one if you're using it to make pudding it is going to take a different process right that one you will have to grate it you have to wring it out wring out the the poison because it is poisonous when uh, you know the bitter cassava is poisonous so for you to get it to be edible you know that you can digest that without it harming you you have to wring the cassava juice from it and ear it out overnight you know you have to put it and let the juice ear out completely and then you can use that flour after that right to do whatever you want to do but this we are working with um sweet cassava and here in the states you can get this to buy in walmart Kroger, you know, H-E-B, it is, it is sold all over. So my little way in doing this now, which is the old fashioned way and the right way, I think the easiest way to peel my cassava, cut both ends off, and then I'm going to do a spiral core around the cassava like this. Spiral all the way down to the bottom cassavas all peeled right 
and uh, also my cocoa. Wash them out nicely and I'm going to cut them up. It doesn't matter if I have the coconut in there, everything is going to come right back into one. I'm going to combine everything later on. So put some more water. So this is where I'm at right now, okay? Now I got my mixture here and inside my pan right now I got, this is a cocoa and the sweet cassava, right? This is a blended sweet cassava and the cocoa. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start combining my solid ingredients. Let me say solid because this is a little bit liquidy. You know because normally if we had grated you know like grated you wouldn't have it that liquidy but I have I you do it in the blender I did it in the blender so it is going to be that liquidy because I have to add water or the milk to it to blend it so I'm gonna be mixing in now some my coconut this is my grated coconut so I'm adding this I'm gonna fold this in for you know let's try to get the you know combine all of this together folding it in so you can see the texture that you're getting from the coconut right that is what I like what I'm going to do is it's still a little bit you know on the wet side so I'm going to add my flour and while I put my flour fold it in until I get the right texture that I want. See it's coming together now so you can actually see the thickness of it. I'm going to be adding my coconut milk. You know I've used some earlier to use some of my coconut milk earlier to blend the coconut but here I go again I need a little bit more flour so what I'm basically doing right now is getting all the main ingredients, the heavy ingredients together and then after I'm going to put my spice in. One more heavy ingredient I got right here, ingredient I got right here, I'm going to put some cornmeal in there. I'll add some cornmeal, alright, and I fold this in also. So now I'm going to be adding my sugar so brown sugar is preferably used by most people it gives it that color that nice golden color when it is done a nice color from the brown sugar if it was white sugar then you wouldn't be getting that color you'd be looking white right so you're getting that pretty look and when it is baked then you're gonna have a nice Color. Got my raisin, right? And then some people like a lot of raisin, but I'm just gonna put the right amount in here. That is good enough. And mix it in. Next thing, my vanilla. And you, you might be asking how I don't measure it, but this is something I've been seeing my mother doing over the years when I was a kid, and I actually kind of gained the expertise where proportion is concerned so you know as I said we are Jamaicans are one talented set of people you know we do our stuff you know sometimes you need to do a little measurement if you don't know it but if it's something that you're born and grow doing and see your parents doing I think it is okay for me to just do my measurement so I just use my nutmeg and now I'm putting a little bit of cinnamon in there I'm going to use a pinch of salt in there because I don't want to put too much you know I think that is good enough put 
a little pinch of butter in here too. This will help. Some people don't do this, but you know, sometimes it's best to melt the butter. Best to melt the butter, you get it. You know? But what I do is use the back of this wooden spoon that I use to mix it and kind of crush the butter out. You know, this helps to give it a nice texture, texture also, a nice texture is coming together and um, almost ready for the oven. All right, so what I'm going to do now is um, I am going to, I think my mixture is looking real good and I'm going to preheat my oven. Um, to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm going to sit, turn my oven on and I'm going to 350 right there now I'm about to grease my pan so how I go about greasing my pan you know I got my butter and I use and um, I have a lot of mixture over there so I have four pans that I'm going to do my put cassava pone in I'm going to use some paper towel, fold it nicely, clean paper towel coming from the roll, fold it nicely and I use it to spread the butter and cover the entire inner section of this pan. Use some flour and just dust it. a little bit of flour this will allow the the pawn to just fall out of the pan when you do it you don't have to use a knife to go around the edge and dig it out you know you know when you use a flour you use a butter first and then you flour it you pour your stuff in when it's big it just come out nice now yeah a little bit of dust in hold it over the sink because I can wash out the sink after and it's gonna be messy so that's how my pan look after it is buttered greased and floured give this a final mix because you know everything has been settling you know after I mixed it you know so I want to get everything all circulated through it you know that everything is all properly mixed out evenly you know because you know the raisin and all those stuff put it there for a while it's sickle you know everything just keep going on even though it is thick and I have it at the right texture I want it so just mix it out a little and then I'm going to pour and now I'm about to stick these two into the oven and this is going to bake for one what did I say one hour right so I got two in these are going back in there and that goes out now for the next two mix again Make sure that everything is all evenly mixed out, ready to pour. So I was, I wasn't too bad on my measurement because I don't have much left back in the pan. Just one more, a small pan and my mixing bowl is empty. So I almost get it right. It's time to stick these two in and I'm going to make space somewhere for another container because still got a little bit of mixture left back 
So I put these to the front. Okay, so here I am again, and I think that it's time for me to take a peek on this and look into the oven and see what's going on. I don't think it's fully ready, but let me, and it's all hot in here, but let me take a peek, right? So this was the extra that I have left back in the pan, so people if you want to take a look tell me oh is it looking tell me how it's looking all right to remove these and um i don't have to do this but you know this is one of the easy way to test your pudding or your pawn whenever you bake your pawn you stick your knife in and if it comes back out looking like that it's ready you see that right so at this moment i must say that my cassava pawn them ready right okay so i am back again and um with my finished product right so people this is what it is you know i want you to take a close look at my cassava pudding porn not pudding porn because pudding is a soft one right but this is a one that is much firmer and that is my finished product right so I want you to be the judge right now uh, looking just looking at it you know if I've, I've tasted it and it to me it is good it is good it is it reminds me of what my mom used to make right so if I'm not there I'm pretty close to what she used to make you know and you know say mama cooking at the best right so and I must say thanks to my mommy to teach me all these good things you know that I can use to implement in my daily life you know you can look at the texture right see you can see the coconut in here you can see this the raisin and um, it's just what I really wanted right and the turnout is really epic one it is also a success so i want to say thank you all for watching 